Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. There's a grocery store chain in the area called Kroger. It's actually a national chain, so maybe you have them near you. And um, they have a app where they give out free stuff, I think on a once a week basis. Uh, we don't actually normally shop at Kroger, but my parents do occasionally, and they'll pick up these free things every week. Sometimes it's stuff they can use, sometimes it's stuff they can't use. This time it was something they couldn't use. This thing. This is a Kroger Selects Peppered Bacon Egg and Cheese Maple Waffle Naturally and Artificially Flavored Sandwich. I have no idea what we're about to get ourselves into, but we're going to heat these things up. It's said to wrap in paper towel. It stuck to the cheese. Oh my lord. So basically this... I should have taken it out of the paper towel immediately. Oh. Is that where we went wrong? Oh. oh no, I'm in the same boat. Oh god. <laughs> oh. This is sad. This is really sad. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh no. On a scale from one to seven, is it like a... Did it make it to four? Oh no. Did it make it to three? <laughs> I was thinking a two or a three. Oh lord. I mean, it does have, like, <coughs> paper stuck to it. Oh god. It smells, it smells like a waffle. Like, it's got waffle smells that they inputted somehow. <laughs> that bacon is tough. Mm-hmm. The waffle itself is a waffle texture, but with no real taste. You can call it texture. It's just kind of mushy. Yeah. I'd give this a two out of seven. And only because I'm reserving one out of seven for things that are actively bad. <laughs> this is not so much bad as it is not anything. There's no flavor. There's no taste. It's bland. It vaguely resembles a waffle during some moments. <laughs> Overall, not, not great. Tomorrow is our anniversary, six years, and uh, because we're going to be going out tomorrow, my parents wanted to take us out tonight, and I have to say that this is a huge improvement over the waffle sandwiches that we did earlier. Um, both, both my mom and Mal got the Bang Bang Shrimp Tacos for a Bonefish, and those look great and I'm jealous, but I'm also going to snag some of that, so we'll be good. Because you can only eat two, right? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, and it's hard for me to get two down. Okay, well then I will eat one. <laughs> Fish and chips, and then I have a steak and a crab cake. And we're gonna we're gonna actually I think we're gonna have sushi tomorrow, so we're gonna yep. be consuming a lot of fish in these last two days. Today was an interesting day for meals, with one very questionable meal and one very delicious meal. Uh, but after we finished dinner with my parents, uh, we came back and Got a few things done before jumping into Saturday game night. Got a few more recordings done, and right now I gotta say we're doing pretty good. We actually have uh, content recorded for a while, and with ChefCon ever approaching and people being here, and us more than likely going to record stuff while people are here, um, we're gonna do pretty good about keeping content on the channel. I'm really proud of that. Uh, and that's something that I could have never done without Dan's help, because taking on that extra little bit every week was just too much for me. But being able to get people together and record something, you know, for basically every Saturday. We've been doing it more or less every Saturday since February. Um, so almost this entire year so far, uh, we've, been, we've been able to release content every Saturday. And that's, that's something I'm proud of. I, I really am. And I'm proud of Dan for, for keeping up with it. And I know that everyone's really enjoyed Stephen and Friends being back on the channel, so we're going to try and keep that up for as long as possible, because uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but as a reminder, tomorrow is our anniversary. We have uh, some kind of plans for that. Yeah. Kind of. We're going we're gonna to have sushi tomorrow for dinner, and Mal said she's going to make me um, a nice breakfast. Yeah. But we have stayed up really late <laughs> uh, to get everything done. And because of that, I don't know what your plan is. Like, We'll have to think about it's, it. <laughs> you might want to wait. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Mal wants to still do it, still do a nice breakfast tomorrow at lunchtime, or if we want to save it for another day. But I'll let her decide that tomorrow. For now, bed. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 
Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?